Hey everyone, how you doing? Trying to down here. I'm going to be doing a video on the Western Invertebrate Show, which I've just got back from. I'm going to be showing you uh, a tour of the actual show and uh, show you some footage of some of the traders and some of the amazing things that they had, whether it's enclosures or spiders. And I will, of course, in the description of this video, place a link to all of their websites. So uh, if you're interested in what was on there, please check the description for all the information regarding the show. So I want to start by saying a huge thank you to those of you that came up to me and had a chat and photos and things. Uh, if you had a picture with me, I will be uh, posting those on my Instagram. Again, there will be links to my Instagram in the description of this video. Uh, so I'm going to basically go through telling you what it is that I've actually got um, after the footage of the show. So I'm going to play that first and then we will continue. Hi, it's BTS again, part two. Yes. Right, I will. I'm gonna go around that way. So I'll meet you in the middle, see what you buy.
the first thing I'm going to show you um, was I signed up to the RSPB, which is a um, it's giving nature a home and it's to do with kind of like wildlife protection things. Uh, they give you some books on birds and also, if I get that book, um, to do with garden wildlife and things. And it's, um, it's a donation to sort of do that, so I thought that's a pretty good thing to do. So that's the first thing I thought I'd share with you. Uh, there will be links in the description uh, to this place. I will do them in order that I go through them. So. Um, yeah, that's the first one. Uh, the next thing that I have is two bags of this moss. Uh, nothing too exciting, but this will be used for some of my, uh, obviously my enclosures, and of course uh, for the communal setup, which I've actually kind of spent more on doing that up. So nothing too exciting, but still thought I'd show you. The next thing that again is not very interesting is a tub of leaves. Uh, again, the next few things will all be for the communal. Um, and it's for the uh, millipedes and, and things to eat. Okay, here's our some uh, some wood shavings. This is only like two quid or something, and this is for the wood loss um, to eat, and hopefully it will break down and rot. So again, nothing too exciting, but there is some cool stuff coming up. Wood lice. Uh, so I have three tubs of these. I will get a close up and I'll put that on the screen now. Um, as you can see, there's quite a lot of these. I bought three colonies for ten pounds. Uh, well, four pounds each, so that's what I went with the, with the three. And yeah, there's quite a few in there. Hopefully, they will breed quite well and will be quite active. Okay, then I've also got some more millipedes. I have two of these. They were pieces of all of my animals that I got today on my Instagram. Um, so yeah, if I get the other one, the other one is out as well. You can see see those. I have two. I do like my uh, I do like my millipede, so I have two of those, and hopefully uh, they're a breeding pair and will reproduce in the communal. Now some more millipedes. Again, I have two of these. Um, I bought these from the spider shop. So yeah, the one in the middle there was actually the larger one. If I can get it out. So yeah, this is a huge millipede. Absolutely huge. It feels very strange when it um, when it walks. I have two of these again. Hopefully, a breeding pair. I will be doing a video um, of the communal setup. Will be a different kind of video. I'll show you how it's doing and what I'm adding to it. So, but yeah, pretty big and I've actually got very very good grip as well. Okay, next up I have some Death's Head cockroaches. Uh, these are pretty big and these are purely for feeding uh, purposes. Thank you for volunteering for the point of this video. So yeah, pretty big cockroach. And um, I'm not. <laughs> it just jumped out of my hands. Uh, so yeah, here you go. It's a pretty big, pretty big guy. Um, and these are going to be in a feeding video I'm going to be working on. Um, it's going to be a big crunch video. Uh, my bearded dragons and all of my largest tarantulas will be eating these. So hopefully you will look forward to that feeding video. And also, like I say, I have two of these. Uh, they were five pounds each, but I got the two packs for eight pounds. So really, really good price. And I believe there's ten in each. That's twenty uh, roaches. My bearded dragon, um, my lizards, uh, my bird eaters. Or the big ones will be eating these so yeah hopefully you'll enjoy that okay then next up is the uh, peacock mantis now uh, while there uh, which you'll see in the video that i do of the actual show um i was walking around and the gentleman actually had one on display with the wings out and everything um absolutely beautiful uh, mantis so i will look forward to doing that and i don't tend to do that well with mantis either i have them and they live right through to adulthood or they just tend to die and that's a bit frustrating. Um, I know the nerd room, uh, the nerd room, the nerd room kindly gave me uh, some mantis uh, at the BTS this year and sadly all four of them died which was gutting and I feel bad because they were free so but um, yeah it's still pretty pretty cool and hopefully you'll enjoy the videos of that. Okay then so the next thing is I have this mystery box I paid £30 for this um, I don't know what's inside at all, uh, 
I cannot remember the name of the company that sold these, so I will put it in the description below. Um, but yeah, £30. And also, uh, they very kindly, once I bought it, um, they kindly gave me a Canascaria Genocolata for free as well. Um, I don't know whether you can see it, just sort of down the bottom of my finger. So that was an awesome freebie, so thank you very much for that. So we're going to have a look in this and see what is in here. Um, okay, there's a... Ah, there you go. Portsmouth Tranchulas. <laughs> um, there's a Portsmouth, Portsmouth Tranchulas wristband, so that's awesome, thank you very much. A pipette for watering very small things. Some tweezers, which I do need a second pair of tweezers, so that's done me a favour. Um, first thing in here is a blue fang. I don't know whether the camera's focusing on that, but all of these I will get a close up of so you can see them. But the E. Solinogathus, the blue fang, I will get close up with that in a second. The Hapalopus species Columbia, the pumpkin patch, this is the large one, although it comes in a teeny teeny tiny little vial. Um, that's awesome. In here, Somapoa simonia, the Venezuelan sun tiger. Um, I do love those spiders. Next up is uh, a Lacidora polycus palatus. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, it's the um, Peruvian blonde. I've never owned one of those, so that's awesome. Um, in my hand here, another Acanscoria genoclata, so I have two of those. Awesome. Okay then, and last up is oh, an M. Balfouri, which is the uh, the blue baboon, so that's really good. So altogether, there's £48 worth of tranches there, excluding the two Acanscoria genoclata, um, because they don't have a price on them, so that's really good for 30 quid. I'm quite glad I took the gamble. I kind of wish I had gone with the 50 pound one because I think that one could have been, um, they could be some really good things in there. They did, I believe it was 10, 20, 30 and 50 pound mystery boxes. So uh, two Portsmouth tranchulas, a huge thank you from me. Um, I hope that you will enjoy the videos I make of those spiders and thank you for doing it. Okay then, so we're on to the last two um, invertebrates that I have. So, um, yeah, the first one is something very different. Uh, this is a dragon head, a dragon headed catedid. Um, from what I know about these, they are they have a very nasty bite and they are really, really noisy. Um, apparently, I will not be able to keep this in my bedroom. We'll see about that, I guess. Um, so yeah, decent size and I will of course uh, put some footage up of it so you can have a closer look at that. And then finally, last but not least, Kim has just passed it over to me, I have this huge uh, adult female Pocletheria regalis. So um, yeah, this spider is a very good, a good leg size, I will measure it at some point. Um, and her abdomen is, is huge so um, yeah really really good um, really really good buy there and I actually have a arboreal enclosure that's completely sort of spare at the moment and I went there and said that I wanted to get an arboreal um, a female arboreal to rehouse into that and when I saw her I thought that it would be a very good buy so I now have the adult female P. regalis the female P. metallica and the P. potata, which is previously from the area pedicinae. So yeah, that is a look at my pickups. I will be doing another video talking about um, the communal and getting the communal all set up with the inverts that I bought for it, as well as rehousing some of these in another video. So um, yeah, I hope you all enjoy this. And if you have any requests of these, don't forget to post below and let me know. And as always, uh, don't forget to check out the links to my social media where I post regular updates there. So as always, thank you for watching everyone. Take care, and I'll see you soon in the next video.